If you could have one heaven phone call, this is a random heaven. And where the hell I've been? This is JoJo Siwa? Baby, I thought this was Billy Ray Cyrus. A new era of life, we're becoming an adult. <laughs> Today. I'm definitely working on two. I'm sorry. The old JoJo can't come to the phone right now. Why? That was in dreamland. JoJo Siwa is back making headlines again. And this time, it's more controversial than ever before. JoJo is in the middle of transitioning her content, and she has recently sent out a message to all her young fans that they should not watch her new content because it is not meant for them. She even went as far as to post a full-on warning on her Instagram to tell kids to stay away. Now, this transition hasn't been getting support from everyone. In fact, some of JoJo's fans are extremely worried about her, so much so that they are saying JoJo has now become unrecognized <laughs> oh no, <laughs> I'm devastated. <laughs> So, JoJo is no stranger to controversy. I mean, it's like every other week she's trending for another controversial thing. However, it came as a shock to most people when she posted this warning to her Instagram telling kids to stay away from her new content that she is releasing soon. The warning read, the following content is not made for children and may be disturbing and offensive to some viewers. Viewer discretion is advised. Loves, I kid you not when I say JoJo is living up to that warning. JoJo followed up her not so subtle warning with a series of teasers for her upcoming song, Karma. JoJo even came out to talk about how for a very long time she has wanted to start making more adult-themed content and that she has just had enough of her bow era. JoJo even dropped some lyrics of her song and she wasn't lying when she told kids to stay away. The chorus alone gives you a hint of this new JoJo. It says, Karma is a I should have known better. If I had a wish, I would have never effed around. When I saw the pics of you and her, I felt the knife twist. Karma is a and she's with you right now. I thought the entire time she had been promoting the song, JoJo made it a point to show people that she's fully embracing her adulthood and leaving behind her Nickelodeon days. JoJo is no longer the kid people used to know. She even talks about how bad she has been in the first verse of the song saying, I was a bad girl. I did some bad things. I swear I did it all for fun and it meant nothing. It never happened. It was a secret. Like when a tree falls in the forest, no one hears it. Another late night, another crazy mood, and I didn't think twice what it would do to you. I was a wild child, you always knew it. It was a matter of time before I blew it. But y'all, not everyone is a fan of this new edgy JoJo. While she was promoting the release of the song, JoJo was doing the most to ensure her adult theme was clearly portrayed and it rubbed some people the wrong way. JoJo posted a pic showing the middle finger to the camera. And as we all noticed from her song, she has even started cussing. Now, to make the situation worse, some people don't seem to be enjoying that that much. Just take a look at the comments that JoJo has been getting. This song sounds like it should be in the background of Kim K's Hollywood game. It sounds like reality show music. It sounds like Fortnite's default emo music. It sounds like Roblox fashion game music. Hey listen, people get mad at me all the time for this, but we're gonna play a game of what if it was fake. So Jojo Siwa's adult song, right? Her new music career. The person who predicted what the song was gonna sound like little tiny theory. What if that's JoJo's PR and she paid someone to just like kind of put out a little blurb and like make fun of her a little bit because it was obviously gonna go viral. And like now the song is garnering attention. And in the interviews, JoJo's talking about how she's not afraid to continue expressing herself. And they say any press is good press. Fake personas on TikTok are a real thing that people have talked about auditioning for. I don't think it's far off to come up with a video concept that generates traction on the internet and then pitch it to a person to essentially put it online. Now, of course, it might look like JoJo's adult switch just started happening, but that isn't the case. JoJo has been slowly shedding her Nickelodeon image from way back to 2021, when she hit the red carpet wearing a black dress and high heels. Now, I know you're saying, but Anna, that's what people wear on the red carpet, and that would be true, but before that, nobody had ever seen JoJo dressing that way. JoJo herself acknowledged her change from her usual dressing by saying, I am in a dress and heels for the first time in my life. When I knew I was coming 
coming to the AMAs, I was like, oh, what am I gonna wear? Because I have had this transition while being on Dancing with the Stars where I've gone from dressing like I normally dress to looking more adult. Anyways, fast forward to today, JoJo is indeed an adult, but she is far from the Nickelodeon kid she used to be and her appearance is even further from the adult she was at the red carpet way back in 2021. Loves, if you see a side-by-side -side picture of JoJo now and when she debuted her adult look on the red carpet, you could swear they are two completely unrelated people. Jojo now has an arm full of tattoos, is low-key abrasive, and has a vocabulary that can only be described as not safe for work. And because of all of this, it's no wonder that people are worried about her. Jojo Siwa is currently going viral all across social media and is becoming a meme because she does not look like herself not one bit. So at the end of February, when Jojo really ramped up the promotion of karma, she posted a TikTok of her reaction to a meeting she had, and she said it was the biggest meeting she has had and she was looking forward to sharing the exciting news with her fans. Now after that she went hard promoting karma and some might even say she went a little too hard that she started getting labeled as annoying by her own fans. Loves, people started comparing this new Jojo to Miley Cyrus back in her twerking days. I know it's not easy for kid stars like Miley and Jojo who have been on camera since they were young and over time people saw them in a certain type of way and naturally when they start growing up and becoming adults they go through this transition period where not every Everyone tends to be a fan of. In the case of Jojo, she might have transitioned really fast because she went from this multicolored hair girl to straight up posting a picture of her butt really quickly. The switch happened so rapidly that if you scroll through her IG, you can see when it started happening. I mean, just take a look at this. You can literally see her pictures going from bright and vibrant to dark and edgy. But don't get me wrong, I'm not saying Jojo's change is bad or anything. She should do whatever she likes, it's her life. But considering how she has portrayed herself for so long, some might argue that changes should take a bit longer to happen. It's no wonder her comments over the past two weeks have been a mess with people arguing whether this transition is good or bad. I think she's trying to tell us she's channeling her inner Miley and will be twerking pretty soon. Bruh, what the hell happened to Jojo? 10 years ago, she was cute and awesome, but 20 now? Jojo like Nicki Minaj, the hell? Hashtag bring old Jojo Siwa back. We get it, you're growing up, but be classy, not trashy. Y'all really expect these celebrities that start out as young kids to stay being and acting like a child? I mean, what do you expect when they become adults? Like, be for real. Let her live, and most importantly, let her be herself for a change. She probably spent her whole childhood and even teenage years being this person that everyone wanted her to be, and she did that for y'all. Now, let her do her for a change, and most importantly, for herself. OMG. You judge her for being a kid, and now she grows up, and you all still have an issue with her. What does she need to do to gain your respect? It's fair enough to judge her, but to then give her no chance to make it right, now give her a chance to explain You've already judged her. It's wrong. People just don't like that she grew up. But let's be real, someone JoJo's age can't stay that innocent kid forever. She's an adult now. She's allowed to explore and experiment. It's okay. She's a young adult who's finding herself after being this kid for half of her life. So please, if you can't accept growth, just unfollow and stay off her socials. She deserves nothing but praise and encouragement in this big moment in her life. Let JoJo grow and figure out who she is without holding her past against her. We be laughing and talking about how cringy Jojo Siwa is and she gonna remind us every time that she a billionaire. She gonna remind us every time meet me at the bank. If I'm so funny, y'all making fun of me singing in my car that is a Lamborghini with my face wrapped around it. I just dropped an album. Ha ha. Like, y'all stop, leave that girl alone. I wish y'all leave this girl and stay in your own tax bracket. No. Jojo herself hasn't always made things easy on herself with all the recent drama that she keeps getting herself into, most notably by her ex-OMG pop drama. So for those who don't know, Jojo got exposed by an ex-ex-OMG pop member for how she treats people behind the scenes. Allegedly, Jojo was nasty and basically a dictator. It was basically her way or nothing. It's alleged that Jojo used to hurl insults at the ex-OMG members during performances, and apparently she created a toxic and cutthroat environment even after the cameras were turned off. She even started pitting group members against each other. Rolling Stone even spoke to a couple of sources involved in the making of Jojo Siwa's reality show, and they reviewed contracts, text, emails, and turns out the consensus is that Jojo and her mom basically lied to Leah and the other members of XOMG Pop, promising them this path to success only to turn around and exploit them just so that they could get a show out of them. Jojo even allegedly rented an entire house for the XOMG members to shoot content in, but none of 
the members stayed there. To make it worse, while Jojo had the entire house to herself, Leah, the girl who exposed Jojo, used to sleep on a blow-up mattress in a dance studio with her mom because they couldn't afford to get a place for themselves because they weren't getting paid. Hold on! Wait a minute! Jojo <laughs> Yeah! He's dropping a new song! What was even the last song she dropped? And why is the song titled Karma? What this got something to do with like... That'd be crazy if this got something to do with XOMG Pop, like the people who left. Cause remember how they're suing her and stuff for what she did to that one little girl? Like, if you really think about it, and the song is titled Karma. It's not out yet, but that's the song title. On the other hand, people have also called out JoJo because of the type of people she usually chooses to hang out with, from the likes of James Charles to Colleen Ballinger. She even got a lot of backlash last year when she came out to defend Colleen. JoJo's list of questionable friends made her and Trisha Paytas low-key start beefing a couple of weeks ago. So JoJo announced that she wanted to have kids in the next couple of years and even announced that she had a sperm donor already lined up and she was looking forward to soon becoming a mother. But but Trisha wasn't exactly pleased with this news. Trisha said that her issue with Jojo wanting to become a mother was that she felt Jojo was still really immature to be able to handle that responsibility of being a parent. Trisha highlighted the long list of controversial friends that Jojo has come out to publicly defend as an example. Trisha argued that Jojo's friends have negatively affected her leading Jojo to be one of the most controversial people on the internet. And she felt that someone who is still finding her way like Jojo wasn't at a point in her life to fully take care of a child. Now, of course, given the fact that throughout her major controversies this year, Jojo really hasn't come out to respond to any of them, it just shows that Jojo is aware that she's not the most liked person on the internet and she just doesn't care. And I am sure she is aware that her image transition is very controversial and she will keep doing it. I mean, it's too late to backtrack now, but I just wonder how this will play out in the long run. Will she fully find herself like Miley or will this go completely south? But what do you guys think of this new Jojo? Are you excited to see her new content? Let me know your comments down below and don't forget to check out my other videos to ensure you are up to date with all the hottest tea. Till next time, bye love!